Okay, so <clears throat> I'm installing. Um, here we go. I'm installing this kicker powered subwoofer in my Kenworth T680. Uh, I'm not looking to win any competitions. I just wanted to make my music sound better. So in the middle of install, I didn't um, see any videos. So I said, let me. Let me go ahead and upload a video just in case anybody else is looking to do the same thing. So I got started. Uh, I actually changed the head unit the other day to this JVC. Nothing special, but it's better than what I had. The factory radio kept, um, it would, it would come, turn itself off like every hour, which was super annoying because it just was. So it had to go. So in the process of doing that, I said, well, shit, I might as well upgrade the uh, door speakers. So I got some new, well, you can't see them. It's got the cover, but I put some new 4x6s in the two front doors and some six and a half. Sorry about the mess, y'all. In here, constructed. And I put two uh, six and a half uh, Pioneer speakers, all Pioneer speakers in the, um, in for the, uh, for the door speakers and the rear speaker. So in case you don't know, the fr the front door speakers are f uh, four four by six, and the rear speakers are six and a half. But anyway, I did that the other day. It was pretty straightforward. The speakers are just plug and play. I didn't amp them up or anything like that. Like I said, I'm not trying to win a competition. Then I got the uh, the radio it was super easy because I ordered the factory harness. Um, online from a place called I believe Big Stereo or Big Rig Stereo I thought I had the card here but I don't but yeah anyway so that was super easy just matched color for color once I got the because if you see the factory harness the colors don't match up and I had that problem with my old um, international so I had it. It took me way longer to do it without the harness. So the, the harness definitely made my life easier. Everything was color coded. But anyway, enough of that. So the um, the hideaway pretty much comes with everything you need. But for some reason, they make the remote wire super short, and the speaker wires are not that long either. So basically, what I did was I went to Walmart. I'm sitting here at the Walmart in Toledo, Ohio, and. Um, just went and bought some more speaker wire and some more remote wire and I just fished it down through here took this panel off fished it down through here up under the steering wheel so I'm gonna run it along the bottom of the steering wheel and I already have the, the speaker wire that the um, kicker box came with I already ran it this far so I'm going to snake that up and splice them together behind the dashboard. That just ran it along the, uh, the door pillar. And this is where I plan on mounting the... Hold on a second, let me... I plan on mounting the um, kicker panel right here behind the driver's seat. Because it's easy because I got my inverter right here. So I got my power on my ground nice short run to the radio and it's you know tucked away not in the way I was gonna put it under the bunk or maybe in front of the bunk then I said why you know it's, it's, it's a small space I'm gonna hit a base wherever I put it at so I just said I, I make the job easy on myself so um, yeah that's what I'm gonna do uh, I mean, to install is super easy as long as you have all the wires you need, these have, even has uh, a template. So I, uh, you know, I just put the template up there, drill the holes, and mount it up, wire it up, start rocking out. But I've only got one hand, so I got to run this wire. So after I run the wire, I'll be back. Okay, real quick, guys, I just want to show you. Um. Uh, how I got these wires down. Let me turn the light on. Okay, 
So these, all these panels pop off super easy. So I got my uh, the speaker wire that came from the um, kicker box, the factory. I mean, the wire that came with the kicker boxes ran, like I said, underneath here. And I'm gonna tuck that in. But these panels pop off super easy, which makes life easy. And because I, I don't like wires everywhere, so I had to tuck these wires in pretty good. I just want to see, show you how I came in right, right where the fuse panel is, and just popped all the plastic off. Just want to show you that real quick. Okay, guys. So don't worry about the mess. I'll do a clean up and uh, a sound test and a quick tour once I'm done. I just wanted to show you how all the wires ran. And, all buttoned back up right along this pillar still got to do the connection on the kicker kicker uh, kicker subwoofer and all I have to do here now is connect the speaker wires and the remote wire I probably should have ran the remote wire on the opposite side of the truck to avoid interference but I don't got time for that if the interference comes, I'll do it another day. But for right now, this is what it is.